What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the best full health builds in all of Fallout 76. We have my full health Enclave Plasma Rifle build. Starting off over the build, these are the base stats to make up our in-game Enclave Plasma Rifle build, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in-game Plasma Rifle build. Starting off in strength, we have 9, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all Kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have Barbarian at 3 stars. Every point of strength adds a plus 4 to damage resist max 80 no power armor we have blocker at three stars take 45 percent less damage from your opponent's melee attacks over in perception we have 15 and this one can have all the rifleman cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this build we have tank killer at three stars your rifles and pistols ignore 36 percent armor and have a nine percent chance to stagger we have concentrated fire at three stars vets target limbs focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot over in endurance we have 10 and this one can have life giver at three stars gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health we have ironclad at two stars gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor we have Kim Fiend at 1 star. Any Kims you take lasts 30% longer, and we are taking Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over on Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filter Gen at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this one can have Batteries included at 3 stars. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 90% less. We have first aid at 3 stars. Stim packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in agility, we have 15 and this one can have action boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have evasive at 3 stars. Each agility point adds a plus 3 to damage and energy resistance, max 45, no power armor. We have gun fuel at 3 stars. Vat swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% then 30% to damage to your next 3 targets. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at 1 star. Avoid 10% of incoming damage damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Better Criticals at 3 stars. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 80% chance to deflect back some of your enemies' range damage, no PvP. We have Starchy Jeans at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads, and Radway will never cure you mutations. We have Critical Savvy at 1 star. Critical Hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. And we have Tormentor at 3 stars. Your rifle attacks have a 15% chance of crippling a limb. Over in Legendary pair cards. These are the legendary pair cards that help make up our in game build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, strength maxed out, luck maxed out, far flung fireworks at two stars, and taking one for the team maxed out. These are the legendary pair cards. Now let's get to my armor, weapon, buffs, and mutations. Starting off over the armor, what we're using is a full set of Vanguard's gear, which grants us the plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health. And since we're a high health build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I'm using is my standard backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 100 and 20 to our carry weight. Over in the under armor, what we're using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary enclave plasma rifle that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the 2-shot effect, which is shoots an additional projectile, has the vats critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has your vats critical meter fills 15% faster. Over in the mods, we're using the prime capacitor, aligned flamer barrel, stabilized stock, and the reflex sight. Over in the mutations, we're using Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skelly Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in our buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, we have Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to our perception, and we of course have a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, what we're using is Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and we're using Psycho Tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and damage plus 11%. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful full health Enclave Plasma Rifle build, we've made our way to the one, the only, the level 100 legendary glowing behemoth that goes by the name Lenny. And honestly, we're just going to run up on him because this is a full health build and we're not sneaked whatsoever. There we go, we're going to shoot him a couple times, lock onto that face, and destroy. Now go on and hail yourself, sir. Come on, come on, we know you're going to do it. There we go, absolutely amazing. Let me just back up for a second. Okay, stop teleporting everywhere. That's not fair. Now we're going to destroy your face. Look at that. You cannot withstand the power of our Enclave Plasma Rifle. Come on, get on out of here, you stupid fool. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of the Enclave Plasma Rifle are all the slightly smaller super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're going to start with this legendary guy right here. Goodbye, you stupid fool. And now since I auto-locked onto you, we're also going to kill this one. 
Uh oh. Uh um um. Sir? Sir? Are you okay, sir? You're not looking so okay. I was gonna I was gonna stop you from committing suicide and stuff, but uh well, it looks like I'm a little bit too late. Get on out of here, you stupid floor. Get away from us. We're trying to show some remorse for him, okay? Okay, well, let me just heal myself. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Guys, calm down. Calm down. I don't know why y'all are so mad. I didn't mean to do that. Jesus. He did it himself, not me. Now, let me just blast this dude's face off. Look how fast they die. And another legendary. Holy crap, that's three legendaries in a row. Too bad, uh, it's always crap they give me, so... We had to kill him just for that. Hello, guys. How's it going? How's it going, Warlord? That's a nice little pipe gun you have already. Oh, that's a hunting rifle. Nice, nice, nice. Can I have your hunting rifle? No, apparently it's a charging laser sniper rifle. I highly doubt that. Hey, how's it going, sir? Where's your gun? Where's your... Get your gun out, man. Get your gun out. I don't want to kill you without your gun. Jesus, that'd be just so mean. There we go. Look at that. They die instantly with this rifle. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Where are y'all at? Where are y'all at? Where, oh, is it you? Is it just you? Well, just so you know, plasma is better than laser rifles. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna blast that dude's face, and get on out of here, you stupid communist robot. Now we've made our way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. We're just gonna obliterate her face. Oh god, oh god, guys, get away from me, get away from me. We're only going for Nancy, not the other ones. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna wait till my battery heals. Fantastic. Also, maybe, you know, heal myself. Give me a little stimmies there. Now we're gonna obliterate her face or her legs, whatever I can lock onto. If I could just stop locking onto you, stupid scorched. Y'all are making this difficult. Nancy, Nancy, I've killed your teammates. Now I need you to relax. Just have a hot cup of tea or something. Here we go. Absolutely amazing. And just like that, Nancy could not withstand the power of our plasma rifle. The next target on our list is one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Mydler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. I'm gonna try to drag her outside of the water because, well, I do not want to keep contracting these rats while I'm in here, but here we go. We're gonna destroy her legs real quick. Oh my god, my face. Just keep on moving. Do circles around her if we can. There we go. And look how much rats I've already attracted from being in this stupid water. Here we go. Now I'm gonna get over here. Run, run, run. Come on, Mrs. Krabs. I'm giving you a fighting chance. Get out of the water. You can do it. Just come on. I know I almost crippled your legs and stuff like that. And that's pretty mean. But hey, it's okay. Just come on. Keep on getting out of the water. Oh, God, my face. There we go. And you're going to get the most amount of damage to these Mylurks to their face. Oh, my gosh. And do not want to take no hits like that no more. Here we go. Get out of here, you stupid crab. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And just like that, I think she just hatched a bunch of babies. Let me go kill them real quick. Come on, get out of here, you stupid freaks. There we go, absolutely amazing, and these Mario Lurks are no more. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over my top 5 favorite unique weapons found in Fallout 76, so if you want to check it out, I'll link to the screen right now. You see that? That is my unique weapons video.